Okay guys, first things first. Do not buy any of these gunmetal tickets. They're a complete waste of money. This Pauling sends you on errands to just get weapons that are just absolute trash. Why would Scout even want a revolver? In the end, I completed two campaigns and all I got were reskins of weapons that everyone in this universe is going to be owning by the end of this week. So I wouldn't invest in that and just wait for the crates. And is it like TF2 tradition to make sure that every time an update comes out, it unequips all my items except for the second cosmetic slot, which I don't know why that always happens. It's really, really weird. And I want all my stuff to be on at all times. I don't want to be like a naked, like, bandana man. People have been complaining that the game is too much like Counter-Strike Go, and of course the weapon picking up thing's gonna need to be balanced, cause in some situations I got a little too lucky with how I decided to grab my weapons. And it's so lame, cause that demo man probably would have survived if I could not have picked up his weapon that his fellow demo man left behind. And one of the biggest nitpicks I'm having right now is for some reason, some gun models don't show up as they need to be. Like the Crits Creek, it shows up as a default minigun now. Why? I sometimes forget what kind of minigun I'm using. I thought I was using the default minigun, so I popped an Uber in a very bad place. This by no means ruins the game, I mean, it's still TF2, guys, there's nothing else different except you can pick up guns, but nobody really has time to do that, because you have to crouch down and grab it, and most of the time people just want to keep fighting with the weapon they have, because they like the weapon they have, that's why they equipped it. People still strafe in a weird way to where I can't stab them and I die immediately. Soldiers still by instinct jump up and down every time they shoot a rocket no matter what happens in this universe. And still, the fire axe is used by absolutely nobody on this planet. The world of TF2 hasn't changed, guys. It's just evolving. I mean, yes, we have weapon pickups now, so what, that doesn't affect the gameplay entirely. I mean, in fact, it's going almost unnoticed right now. So far, I haven't had any issues with this update, except for the uh, Manco store being absolute crap as soon as I log on because, you know, Valve doesn't know how to run servers. Well, I would complain about the server list, but I am assuming Valve's gonna eventually patch this, but it has this issue of not letting me join any servers whatsoever, including the new maps. That's why I didn't play any of the new maps in this video. Rocket, you could just use the server list in the servers button. This update is for the best of TF2, and I think you should appreciate that we finally have an update in the first place. Now, I was underwhelmed by it, but it's something. They changed many centuries. That's pretty significant. Anyway, guys, that'll do it for this video. I'm gonna update you later on gunmetal. See you later.